No, not much out there rain wise today, but uh, kind of focusing on the tropics right now. We are continuing to watch two systems out there. We have Invest 97 and Invest 98, uh, both of which do have a chance of possibly developing, both also coming out of here, the intertropical convergence zone, moving through the Atlantic and also the Caribbean. You can see with Invest 97 right now, chance of development at least until the new update comes in here at 7 o'clock, 20 to 60% chance. Not much really the next two days. There is a new flare up of thunderstorms out there, but forecast models have it going pretty quickly here with winds uh, moving west at 24 miles per hour. Winds are sustained at 35. Latest models actually want to take this one more into Central America. Yeah, there's one outliner that does take it into the Gulf of Mexico, but the bulk of them kind of taking it into the uh, Yucatan Peninsula. Yesterday it had it anywhere from the Gulf of Mexico back to the other side of Florida, so that's a big difference there with this one. So we'll continue to watch this one until it develops. It won't happen until later this week once it gets to the Northwest Caribbean. Then we'll keep a closer eye on it, but we'll just watch it here to see what this may do. Invest 98 has a high chance of development at 90% over the next five days. Watching two clusters here and kind of the first one is where we're watching the first one, the uh, low pressure, and then another one behind it. Likely the two of these will merge together and form one system. Then that will take off and work its way to the west northwest around 20 miles per hour, kind of going over the top of the northern uh, windward islands here and then kind of over top of maybe Puerto Rico toward Hispaniola and possibly all the way on it toward Cuba and the Bahamas. But this is not, not until next Monday. Monday. So we're talking a little bit uh, under a week away. Potential for the Gulf of Mexico, also potential for it to curve. Some of the models do want to take it up the East Coast of the United States as well, too. So definitely need to watch both of these systems as we move forward here over the course of the next couple of days just to see what the system might do. As a matter of fact, you can see here looking at the European model and the GFS model, you can see the big difference is European wants to take next Wednesday potentially across our area, but looking at the GFS has it all the way there into parts of Corpus Christi near Houston, Texas. So uh, a big difference between the two of them where the timing would lay with this or where it could go. Obviously a lot of uncertainty. Remember the system hasn't even developed yet, so nothing to get excited about yet. But if we do get some two more storms, we'll have Laura here as well as on into Marco. The next two names on the list for the season and you can see the coast of Africa. Not much at the moment other than invest 98, but watch a few more waves moving through Africa here. We'll have to keep an eye on them. Models are hinting at some of these could try to develop, which is normal for this time of year because we're headed toward the peak of the season, which occurs on the 10th of September.